earlier this month, Eve launched their new motion sensor, which offers a brand new design and is packed full of new features. In this video, I'll be sharing my initial thoughts on this motion sensor, having had the chance to use it now for a couple of weeks, and sharing with you everything you need to know about the EVE motion sensor. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Stephen for Hey Techie here, and welcome to my channel. Hey Techie is a channel dedicated to smart home technology with a particular focus on HomeKit, and every week I'll be bringing you new content offering tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews to help you get the most out of your smart home. If that sounds good, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll not miss out. So this is it, this is the EVE Motion Sensor second generation. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank EVE for sending me this sensor to review for them. As always though, we offer our completely honest and unbiased opinion on every single device that we look at, and this doesn't influence our judgement on it in any way. The EVE Motion second generation is a redesign of their older first generation motion sensor. Now this has been out for at least a couple of years and I've personally not used it before given that by the time I was starting my smart home adventure with HomeKit, the Bluetooth connection was already slow and outdated and it was a particularly expensive option for me to choose at the time. In comparison though, the second generation model is quite reasonably priced, costing $34.95 at UK Apple stores or $39.99 in the United States. Here in the UK at least, that makes it at least £5 cheaper than the Philips Hue motion sensor, which has already been on the market for some time. Importantly though, the EVE motion sensor has a few additional features as well, which I think makes it a no-brainer for HomeKit users to at least consider picking up. Measuring 6.5cm by 6.5cm by 3.4cm, the EVE Motion feels robustly built and has a small form factor allowing you to fit it into pretty much any space you could need. It's got a 120 degree field of view which has a maximum detection range of 9 meters, which is very impressive indeed, and you can adjust the sensitivity of this between low, medium and high directly in the EVE app. Notably, however, EVE has designed this motion sensor to IPX3 water resistance, which means it will be protected against the elements like rain, but you can't submerge it completely in water. And this is a fact that it really sets it apart from the Philips Hue line. You can use this EVE motion sensor outdoors as well as indoors, which brings a whole new layer of functionality that we haven't had before. On the back of the device, there is a hole for a wall mount, or you can simply let it stand on the sideboard, whatever's better for you. Of course, there's also nothing stopping you using a sticky mount or even attaching a small magnet to the back of it if you have some lying around. EVE advised the operating temperature will range from minus 18 degrees Celsius up to 55 degrees Celsius, so here in Europe you'll almost never have an issue, but those who experience warmer or colder climates might need to bear that in mind, especially if you want to use it outdoors. Another major addition to this motion sensor is that EVE has added thread to it, making it the first thread motion sensor on the market. Now, I've spoken a lot about thread in recent weeks, and in fact, I've got an entire video dedicated to explaining exactly what it is and how it works, but in a nutshell, thread is a new communication standard for smart home devices, which improves speed, accuracy, and most importantly, it becomes stronger and more robust the more devices you add to the network. If you will be using this device outdoors, Thread is also the best option thanks to the great connectivity range you'll get, especially if you've got other Thread devices like the EVE Energy or a HomePod Mini already in your smart home. And chances are, if you're using HomeKit, you probably will. It's important to note though that this is a minimal Thread device, or MTD, which means that this device will not act as a router node in your Thread smart home. What this means is that it will still get all the benefits of thread connectivity, but it will not act as a relay for the data packets of other thread devices. The reason for this is simple. The EVE Motion is powered by two AAA batteries, and so EVE has designed this to be as, as energy efficient as possible. There's no clear data that I can find about how long these batteries are expected to last, and so it will obviously depend on how often the sensor is used as well, but I would estimate that they should be lasting for at least a year. Now, after a few weeks with this motion sensor, in my testing at least, it's been very, very quick to respond to trigger both HomeKit devices and scenes in my smart home, and I've been very impressed with it. 
not just content to be a motion sensor, EVE has also built in a light sensor as well. Other motion sensors on the market do have this feature, but only a few have integrated it natively with HomeKit, and this is a real benefit of having this EVE device in your home. This means that you can not only use this device to control automations via movement, but you can also do so when light level rises or dips below a certain level. Now this is really useful if you've got smart curtains or blinds, because you'll be able to drop them down whenever direct sunlight is entering any given room, which will help keep the heat out at the height of summer, but equally it will make sure that the blinds close in the evening when you won't want others looking in. This will also allow you to turn your smart lights on and off according to your actual lighting needs rather than accidentally having the lights on for too long all the time so you'll be making your home more energy efficient in the long run too which is both good for your wallet and for cutting down on your carbon emissions the only thing to bear in mind is that at least with the apple home app at least in iOS 15, it's currently very poor for customizing both motion sensor and light level automations, so I would highly recommend using a third party app for this. In particular, the Eve Home app is excellent and it is a free option which you can download from the App Store. I'm thinking about making some in-depth tutorials for users with the Eve Home app, so please let me know in the comments down below if this would be of interest to you. So all in all then, what do I make of this? This is a really good motion sensor with more than its fair share of features. It's competitively priced for a more premium smart home sensor, and I personally love that you can use it both indoors and out. The inclusion of thread is another important milestone for motion sensor devices in HomeKit, and I'm sure that this will not be the last to have it either. For the moment though, this is undoubtedly the best HomeKit motion sensor on the market that you can buy today. Thanks so much for watching right until the end. Let me know what your favorite motion sensor to use in HomeKit is, and if you'd be considering the EVE Motion second generation in the future. Until next time then, I've been Steven for Hey Techie.